Hey, what's going on guys? Abdrosson here from adrexstreamers.com. In this video, I'm going to review Roofbox ROM for your Galaxy Note 2. This is the best source ROM for your Galaxy Note 2 if you're ready to sacrifice your Samsung stock ROMs like... Stock ROMs? No, stock applications like the S Memos and S Calendars and S Suggest and whatever that Samsung gives you that uses the S Pen. And if you're ready to sacrifice that, this is the best ROM for you guys because it gives you so many customization that Samsung is not even close to giving you. So let's go ahead and review this ROM. First of all, as you can see, this is the current Jelly Bean that we are running. I'm gonna go scroll down about phone. And right there, as you can see, it says 4.2.2. And uh, that's the latest Jelly Bean. And uh, it will give you the date of the nightly i'm running the 624th so i've been running it for like a week now and this rom is really awesome as you can see right there is the features that the rom offers you and uh, let's go ahead and dive into it now first of all right here is all the custom features that the rom has offering you quick links from aokp root box settings and then hybrid setting from paranoid android so aokp and cm10 features right here their own features right here and paranoid android features right here that's why they combine all three roms and give you the best of all of them so let's go ahead and check out the features that i use and i think it which is important uh there are a lot of features i will take and i already found a review every single one of them so i'm just gonna keep it simple I want you guys to go ahead and flash this ROM and check out the features for yourself so you know better than me telling you. So let's go ahead and dive in. First of all, ROM control, where you're going to find all the features about your ROM from general UI status bar to system customization. So under general UI, you're going to find features that I use is transparency. As you can see, this is the... This is what I have as a uh, enabled. I have 100% transparency for the status bar and navigation bar. It def defaultly comes with, if it doesn't, and if you still want it, you can go ahead and change the transparency setting for your status bar and your lock screen from there. If you don't want this, the boot animation, you can disabilize from there. Custom carrier name, you can always put on something and press OK and it will appear right there as you can see. And uh, since we are here, I'm going to show you that's my custom image for the notification right here. Oops, that's the alpha value. If you turn it down, the image will, the notification will not have a transparent background. It will have black background. And right here is where you can choose the background image yourself and uh, choose any application and go ahead and select the background of your girlfriend or naked chick whatever you like from there if you want to show notification count off your notification if you get a lot of texts and stuff you can go ahead and enable that and uh, as you can see I have vibrate on expand to this brightness sli slider I really enjoy using it when I am outside and uh, these are the features that comes with I have one feature recent RAM bar show up so when I press down that it will show up right there oops so that's the recent RAM bar you can enable from general UI down there now next we're gonna go to lock screen here we go here is all the customization for your lock screen let me zoom in a little bit so you can see it better first of all if you want glow pair torch you can go ahead and uh, turn it on navigation ring or locking ring i really don't want it so i'm going to turn it off and right here is all your the widgets and all the different pages that google has on their newest android you can go ahead and customize that the way you like and here are the targets so you can go ahead and select any target and check on shortcuts if you don't want any of these select an application and go ahead and tap on it and once you're done customizing just press save right there in the corner oops you didn't see that right here is the save button so once you save it your lock screen is gonna 
have all the targets saved up for you. And now this is other thing that uh, Pure Google has offering you. And this is my desk clock widget, as you can see right here. You can look it up online if you don't know what it is. It's a really great feature, really handy if you want to check some stuff from your lock screen rather than going in. Now power menu, I have every damn thing that's in there enabled. So my power menu looks as long as it could look. And uh, as you can see, navigation and status bar control is down there. You can go ahead and enable from there. And that's the power menu, not a lot of things to look in. Navigation bar, I turned it off from, uh, I believe it comes with navigation bar. I turned that off from right here, high navigation bar. And that's where I turn it off because I really didn't want it. I have physical buttons right here, as you can see. And that's the reason that is turned off. Now, next, we are going to go ahead and take a look in navigation ring. Here, I have my torch, Google, and power, power amp. Yeah, you can as you can again same thing how we did in the lock screen targets. Once you're done. Here's the targets you can see like I have three target you can go up to five and once you're done you can go ahead and press save button on top and you'll be good. Ribbon I didn't use it because I don't use that navigation navigation bar so toggles is one of the features oops that I really enjoy as you can see these are the toggles and you can go ahead and set it up and down and customize it the way you like just grab it and drop and drag and drop and change toggles to from right there you can enable more toggles if you would like and when you oops that's five control but when you drag it from down there you will see all the toggles appear and you will have your own uh, what do you call picture or whatever you set up that's Android extremist for me and uh, once you're done go ahead and close it this is the toggle style you can have tiles traditional or scrollable I like tiles so that's why I'm gonna keep it tiles now collapse share on toggle click so it will collapse when it's closing while you open the toggles now custom toggles so if you want to create custom toggles you can go ahead and uh, read through that I really didn't want it to so I didn't give a damn about it I'm gonna go ahead and go into battery as you can see right there let me go ahead and zoom in for you so you can see better Right there, I have battery gauge. If you have like a car or if you're really into cars and like turbos and turbo gauges, that battery gauge really looks awesome when you're charging it because it changes three colors depending on how much juice you got in your phone. And uh, you can go ahead and enable from right there racing or gauge which one you like. I, I have racing because when you're charging it goes up and down. Then battery bar option if you like and I don't really use battery bar so I didn't do anything clock again I have middle so center clock and uh, no a.m. p.m. small day of the week so I know what day I am in then signal I have oops that's the color if you want to change it but I have so DBM in signal so it looks kind of cool when other people are using your phone they're like oh what's that and then you can brag about your Android and how you customize it. Next thing is the LED. If you wanna go ahead and change the LED, flash LED while screen is on and all that, you can go ahead and turn it on from them. Then S Pen gestures. The, don't take this one as the stock features that S Pen has. This is something else that as you can do with your S Pen using S Pen. Then sound and vibration. You can go ahead and mess around with different uh, scripts on sound and this is the vibration so you can tap and uh, record it so the way you want to have your vibration so if you want like <laughs> I don't know I was making that weird noise we can go ahead and do that this is the dark root box it's not really gonna help because I have this theme on which is key lime pie I got it from somewhere else it's not online as I as far as I know but let's go ahead and dive into rootbox theme or rootbox setting their own settings so here is the pie control that I have right here 
so you can go ahead and turn on the pie control determine the size and all that gravity and uh, where you want it to be and all that setting right here mess around with it other thing I use is hello or hello how you don't, I don't know how you're gonna say it but that's if you got notification it will come up right there and uh, there is the hollow setting and uh, low battery warning I really don't like so it's not up then battery pack enable or disable per app color for your battery applications if you like that now kill all the application right there and this right here is the kill all the application and this the layout is the root box layout right here as you can see you can have stock or root box I have root box if you don't you will see the stock first of all but if you don't like it go ahead and change it to root box it really look, looks neat and these are the other features that they offer see through lock screen I really didn't enjoy it so I didn't have it on and breathing SMS and breathing miss call is really good feature it kinda gives you that little excitement when you get the notification now if you want you, when you plug in your head, headset there's a mid, if you whatever your media application will plug in I mean open up when you plug in so you can enable that from there and there is another features right here so you can go ahead and check that out now update center is where you can update I already have update I know that so I'm not gonna <laughs> update as of right now then we're going to go ahead and go to hybrid setting I know I'm leaving themes for the last because I want to show you some themes too. So here you can do all the paranoia Android uh, settings like tablet UI, stock UI and all that you can read. You can go ahead and mess around with it. I didn't mess around with it because I do have paranoia Android setting come I mean review coming up later. And this is the theme right here, Key Lamp Pie. I have another themes that I have downloaded. You can go ahead and just hit apply and it will be on your status bar needs to be resetted after you do that but it will turn on right away now everything as far as making this ROM stable and uh, daily drive works as you can see picture works you can go ahead and start taking video as well video works as you can see let me go ahead and show you the tribute launcher right here we're gonna use the kill button to kill up application and go to the tribute set setting and here it's like Apex and Noah launcher but their own CM10 tribute launcher and you can go ahead and mess around with them from home screen to draw app drawer and everything and this is it guys make sure you flash this ROM if you like stock ROM I mean source ROM not stock ROM but this is better than CM10 on AOKP if you want to argue with me go ahead and do it because this one combines both of them so you cannot really what do you call argue with me because all the features that they offer this from also offers and as always guys thank you for watching I hope you have enjoyed this review if you do like button is always appreciated and uh, go ahead and subscribe for more videos like that check out the android for more tutorials and I will see you in the next video thank you for watching